Greetings. In this video, we're going to take a look at a brand new and exclusive module for Bible Analyzer that we just developed, and it is the Common Man's Reference Bible. We have right here the printed edition. It's edited by Brother David Hoffman. He spent a lot of time putting this together. It's now in the fifth edition. This hardback is the uh, third edition, but it's now in the fifth edition, and that's the version or edition we have with the Bible Analyzer software. So let's take a look at it. First of all, well, here's how it looks in Bible Analyzer, but let's take a look at uh, how the pages are laid out in the printed book. Right here is the Gospel of John, and you'll see that it has a, a book introductions here, a few paragraphs, and you'll see that it has the Bible text in two columns, and then it has a center column that has many cross-references. Then at the bottom, it has footnotes, and you can see this when you go farther along in the chapter. There, of course, is the Bible text, many cross-references in the center that have indicators in the text that show which word they're associated with. And also it's the same with the footnotes. They have indicators, like here with verse 18, you'll see that there is a three, and that three refers, of course, down here to the third footnote. Now, if we go back to Bible Analyzer, we'll see the same thing. Here you have John chapter one. Over here, you have the book Introduction. and that's the same text, of course, it's in the printed edition, and you can read that there. Over here, you have the Bible text, and it has all the indicators. Right here, you'll find the first uh, cross-reference indicator, and it has it listed there, Genesis 1-1, Proverbs 8-22, and so on. And there you can easily see what the references are on a mouse over, just a mouse over the indicator. But even better than that, you can click the footnote button in the toolbar, and it will insert the references into the text and make them live links, live references. You just put the cursor over and there they are. You can see them instantly. And if you want to see those verses in context without changing the main Bible text you're looking at, of course, if you click those, if you left click this, it will go to that reference and update this to that reference. But if you right click on it and then go over to view that verse is context in the multi-window. You click that, and here we have that verse, which was 822, and right here it is. And you can read that within the chapter context, the entire chapter's there, so you can get a better understanding. And then you can go back, close that, and you can click this footnote button again, and it'll go back to the normal text. And you'll see here, here's the first uh, footnote I mean, that was a cross-reference, and this is a footnote indicator. And you'll see that it has a pop-up as well. And you can read the footnote there, or you can click it, and it will update over here. This will update the commentary window to where you can see the footnotes. And they also have many cross-references in them. Actually, there are nearly 60,000 60, cross-references, and there are over 12,000 first references in the footnotes. That's over 72,000 cross-references in this Bible, which is a, a massive amount for a, a reference Bible. But there you'll have, there's your first footnote. An interesting thing that you can do in Bible Analyzer is if you click this C button, it will show all of the footnotes or comments found within that chapter. So you can see there are six in John chapter one, and they're all uh, can be found like here in John 1 9 you have the second one and you look over here and there it is John 1 9 in the second one so you can do that and you can of course unclick that and it will go back to the one you select if we go to 2 click it and it will show us 2 and so forth so you easily have easy access to all of the cross references and all of the footnotes just by a click or a mouse over they're right there right before your eyes now, another thing you can do is you can search the entire list. And here we have the word doctrine we typed in, and we have all the search terms. And you put the mouse over the word, and you'll see, or over the topic, and you'll see where it's found in that topic. And it's highlighted there. And we can go down and just pick one here. Let's go 1 Corinthians 4.15. We click that and we'll see that our search word is comes up and is highlighted there within the entry. So you can search for words, you can search for phrases, 
You can search for partial words. So there's a lot of features in that. If you're wanting something you read somewhere and you forget it and you remember a word, you just type the word in and, and it will you'll be able to find it. We can close that again. Over here is the topic list and you have all the topics, all of the the uh, comment references, you know, the, the verse references where they belong. You can click one of those and see one of them. There's Matthew 1, 3, any of them that you want. And you go down to the end and you'll find that there are some, some other material. You have uh, some addendum material here, like some things that are between the Testaments. Here's one, Seven Steps to Learn the Scriptures, which is an interesting read. It gives you uh, ways that you can understand the Scriptures and how you can read the Bible. And also it has maps. We go down here, here's the time of the patriarchs. That's a map. And you can of course expand the commentary window and view the whole map here. And then you can go to the next one, click up here, or you can go into the drop down and find another map. But really about every feature of the Common Man's Reference Bible can be found in the Bible Analyzer Edition. And I believe you'll find this, this is a valuable resource. You won't agree with everything in it, but you don't agree with, no one really agrees with everything that's in any other work or any reference Bible or any commentary or any other work. But uh, I believe you'll find it of value. It has a lot of material in it and it has a lot of uh, different, different topics, different subject matter. But anyway, we hope that uh, maybe this will interest you. And if you do get it, we hope that you'll find this uh, reference Bible of value. Thank you.